Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nadira Machola here. Um, so today I am going to be showing you guys, as the title says, how I edit my pictures for Instagram. I did receive this um, request on one of my uh, previous videos on YouTube and I also got quite a number of DMs requesting pretty much the same thing. So I decided I am going to share uh, my tips and tricks on how I achieve my flawless makeup pictures and yeah I don't use any filters um, so my page is not really filtered but I do edit and smoothen out my makeup for my videos so I'm going to show you guys how I achieve that so yeah I hope that you guys enjoy this video um, like comment and subscribe and all the good stuff hit the notification button so that you are notified every time i upload and yeah i'll see you guys on another tutorial so i'm gonna go ahead and okay so firstly what i do is that i have this app on my phone this app right here is called canon connect i'm gonna show you guys a picture of it right here it is called canon connect and i connect um via wi-fi from my camera and I use my phone as a remote so this camera allows me to see what my lens is picking up and I'm able to pose and all that stuff and then I take pictures using my phone and obviously I would hold it at a lower angle and I would use this to shoot my pictures um, and yeah I do that and then once I'm done I go onto the app and I download all my pictures from my phone right and then once um i have gotten all my pictures on my phone um this is what i do next so i'm gonna start inserting a screen recording of my process okay so i have opened up my or rather I've unlocked my phone what i would do is that i would move all my pictures to lightroom right so what I would do is I would select all the pictures that I want to edit just like so and then I would move all the pictures to Lightroom just like that and then I'd say launch Lightroom right now right don't mind that that is a picture that I just edited so once everything has been exported to Lightroom, um, it will tell me that all pictures have been successfully um, moved. Um, however, I have been editing a pic some pictures, hence it says 27 could not export. And then I'll just basically go through every picture that I want to edit and I will pick my selection and I'll edit from there. So for instance, this is a picture that I'm going to be editing with you guys right now. So you guys can see so as you can see this is the raw product so what I would generally do is that I would first go to effects right effects um, with effects you have firstly texture and clarity texture it helps minimizes the texture of your skin and clarity helps um, it helps clear up all the imperfections on your skin right so I would usually put texture between 30 to 40 depending on the quality of the picture right so I'm gonna leave that at 33 and then I am gonna go to clarity and I will put clarity on I would say probably a 7 right I never go above 15 on clarity because it ends up blurring the picture out so 7 is really a good number for me and then what I would do is that I would dehaze the picture and probably put it at a 7. That helps with bringing back tone into my picture and stuff like that. Now, I could be wrong with the way that I'm explaining things, but this is what's been working for my pictures personally. So I'm just showing you guys what works for me, right? So usually dehaze it to about seven right and that just bolds everything up and everything that was blurry sort of just defines the line right and then i would go to light and then what i would do for light is i would increase my contrast and put it at about nine right it also depends as i was saying it varies with each picture 
um, sometimes the lighting is not the same, sometimes um, the picture quality is not the same and stuff like that so I have to maneuver with things a bit but um, for this particular picture this is what I think will work right and then I will go to blacks and then what blacks does is that it highlights or rather it makes all the black things in your picture darker so I would take back blacks um, down the negatives and I'll put it at a good 30 right that looks good and then I would go to whites increase my whites a bit put it at 3 just so it can brighten uh, my highlights on my face like where I put my highlighter for concealer and stuff like that and then also go to highlights as well and then that just brings out the picture even more and then I'd go to shadows and then I play with shadows a little bit just to remove all the shadows and all the dark spots on the picture and I think a good 22 will do for that picture and that is pretty much it that I do there right next up I go to color and then for color I go to mix colors and then I go to the orange color in particular because I have um, brown skin right so that's like orange browns all those tones if you want to darken or lighten those tones up so as you can see if I lighten my orange up it makes me gray and if I bring it all the way up it makes me orange so I usually leave that at about I leave my saturation at about um, I'd say a good 12 right that's good that makes the picture pop so it brings out all the brown juicy goodness in my skin I like my skin looking very brown thank you very much I don't want to look any lighter and then I would go to luminous, uh, luminance and then I would decrease luminance and put it at a 5 right and I would leave it at that and then what I do is that I go to my yellows and because I do not want that yellow undertone peeking through so much um, I would go to luminance and I would increase my luminance to let's say a 4 right and I would leave it at that and then I'd go to blue. Um, the wall in my room is grey, right? So if I play with my blues, it lightens and darkens my wall depending on the mood of the picture, right? So I'll show you an example. If I take saturation and I bring it down, it makes um, the background and my scarf because it, it has a little bit of blue grey. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to increase my saturation with just three, right? going to put it at a 3 and then I'm going to decrease my luminance and I'm going to leave it at a 4 and that is how I edit my pictures and then when, when I'm done with that I'll say done and then I'll go to vibrance now vibrance brings out all the colors right it darkens up all the colors in the picture so I would place my vibrance at like a 12 and then I would bring down my saturation to a good two okay looks good for the picture and then that is it for the picture and then once I am done with that I will click on the save button or the upload button and then I'll say export to camera and then when it says photo was successfully exported when I go to my camera the picture will be there and that is my final product that is it guys that is how I edit my pictures done <laughs> so I hope that you guys picked something up today and I hope that you liked my video um, do like comment and subscribe all the good stuff and share the video um, you know that like button helps my video grow rather helps my viewings grow so do be gentle on that button and share <laughs> I'll see you guys some other time until then God willing God bless you and keep you. Ah.